What is up everyone and welcome back with another tweaks video. I want to make a quick announcement here before I start this video. I created a second channel where I show teams and uh, the status of the tweaked apps and tweaks stores uh, if they are getting signed or revoked. So go subscribe for that and more content will be there daily I hope so. But now let's jump with the video itself and starting first with the first week which is called Gesture i11. So this will give you a home gesture like the iPhone X and the iPhone XS or 11 on your older devices. So you're gonna notice here you will have the home bar. I don't have an older device that running iOS 13. That's why I'm showing you this on my 11 Pro Max. So jumping now to the next tweak, which is called app data. You're going to notice if you swipe up on any app, you're going to notice here, you will be able to clear the batch. Also, you will be able to clear the cache of the app itself. If it's stuck for you or you're having some bugs with the app itself, you can easily clear cache by just swiping on the app. Now to the next tweak which is called search autofocus and you're gonna notice here if you go to the search section the keyboard will appear automatically without you having to tap to bring the keyboard up. So that will save you an extra second when you try to type or search for any app in the app store also in any other uh, app you can choose from the settings. Now to the next tweak, as you can notice in my control center, there is the weather at the top left if you are connected to the Wi-Fi or cellular data. And it's really neat to uh, show you the weather instead of just going to the weather app, you will have it at your home screen. Now to the next one, which is called Astrid. So you're gonna tap on or double tap on your home screen and this menu will show you the recently opened apps. So you don't have to go to the uh, multitasking to visit your recently opened apps. You will have them here in just a list and it's really cool and helpful to see all of your recently opened apps. Now do the next tweak, which is called AirPod case low battery. So Apple doesn't let you know if your AirPod case is getting low on battery. So this will do that for you. And you're going to notice if you go to the settings of the tweak, you can set whatever percentage to notify you. Also, uh, we will notify you for your AirPods and you can set the specific percentage if any, if your AirPods is running low. So you will have notification for that. And now to the next tweak, which is called Smarter LPM. So for this, you need to go to the settings of the tweak first and do some adjustment. And you're going to notice here, you want to disable that if you don't want the battery uh, color customized. But if you want it, make it enable, choose whatever color that you want. So this will give you also the ability to tap on the battery itself to enable and disable the low power mode. So it's not only limited for that, you will have to go to the settings of the tweak and you're going to notice here there is an ultra saving settings and you can choose different things to be enabled and disabled and I'm going to show you how it works. So all you have to do is go to the control center, customization and you want to add the module for that and once you have added it, you want to now go to the control center and you're going to notice here the new button just appeared. If you enable it, you're going to go to the ultra low power mode where it's going to turn the low power mode itself and uh, airplane mode and some extra thing like decreasing or setting your brightness to a specific percentage. Now to the next tweak, which is called short emoji. So for this, you obviously need to be typing in some messaging app and you're going to notice at the top there is all of your emoji here and you have to do some uh, adjusting to the settings of that tweak also you can set different things on your keyboard to do uh, specific things so uh, you can set the dictation or the dictation button to a specific action like you can uh, do it for the copy action or the cut action or the paste whatever and it's a big tweak so you will have to uh, discover all of that by yourself and now that's it i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my second channel turn on the notification for more new tweaks see you in another one and peace